Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Let's take it in at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And a Jacksonville offense on their way out again as we take a look at the playoff race in the AFC. And for them right now, not a done deal. They are holding down one of the final three wild card spots with two weeks to go. But you know, there are others, Charles, kind of nipping at their heels a bit. And Brandon, it's always worth throwing across his body and it's intercepted. Picked up by Isaiah Rogers. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. And that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, we might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Throwing the start to drive. Robinson looking middle, and that's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game. But in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice game. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Back to throw. Robinson. Now that's into the hands of Mo Alley Cox, the tight end. Calling a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Here's Robinson to throw on second down. Toward the sideline, and that is a nice catch as he's able to tiptoe his way out of bounds. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Looking to throw. Robinson. Touchdown! Alec Pierce from eight yards out. And the Colts use the short field to get in for six. So they're able to capitalize there on the short field, and that might prove to be the score that turns out the lights. The party's over. Oh, sorry about that. That's an old reference there, folks. But yeah, they've been the better of the two teams by far. And that's great complimentary football right there. Defense gets the turnover, sets up the short field, and the offense goes right out and scores to open up a pretty sizable lead. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in the league, when we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this ball out, let's just say, Third down, Lawrence. Now well, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Very symptomatic of how this game's been going. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. On 
fourth down. The punt team is on as this is sent away. And a fair catch call for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your coach? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't like to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win? That's what he's done here in this one so far. Now Robinson throwing on first down. And he's got Pierce. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the three. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw. Robinson. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And as a quarterback, you're always pleased when you can use all the weapons at your disposal. Here he spots his fullback underneath, gets the completion right there for a nice pickup. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he's got his big tight end here. And the Colts are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They've moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up for the first and goal. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. On second and goal, here's an option play left. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Robinson going to throw on third and goal. To the goal line. But it's incomplete. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. Pass out left caught by Woods. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Colts' decision to go for it pays off with six points. That's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let him fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. What are you going to
discomfort from that last play. And not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him, and we'll step aside for a moment. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. 
Looking to throw. Payton. And that is incomplete. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll put it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch single four and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Jaguars go on offense first down and 10. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10. Right at the 30. Looking to throw Lawrence. Throwing right and that's complete. Here's second and 10. Now Lawrence. And this will be swung out here for counter. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Lawrence will throw. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. On the draw, Connor. There to stop him, Shaquille Leonard, the linebacker. From the 38, Lawrence. This one caught by Ridley. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 21. Here's Lawrence to throw. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Well, collectively, as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. <laughs> and that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answer for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Lawrence got his man complete over the middle. That's Connor. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Here's Lawrence. Over the middle, it's complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Luke Farrell, his first touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars are able to at least get one score back. Extra point put through by Boswell. So they do get one score back, but still a long way to go here in the third quarter. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rodgers. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. <laughs> the Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Still well in control of this ball game despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. We're off to the fourth quarter here on Christmas Eve. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Right back to Moss. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. This offense so far on third down, they're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This will be third and five. It's his target, the tight end, Moale Cox. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Now here's Roberto Sanchez as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. 
Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way they were putting on those playing and Bonner, they do have some good news though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try to hit the reset button starting point. Lawrence's throw taken in by Woodley here. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now Lawrence to throw. Eluding the pressure line. And he wisely will throw that one away. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now Lawrence. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. happening there. He's taking down by a late penalty flag in the backfield. This looks like a roughing call. Boy, you hold him short of the marker. You've got the turnover on downs and then roughing the passer. That celebration was cut short, wasn't it? Went from raised hands to slumped shoulders as a result of that penalty. And they'll throw on first down Lawrence. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a of six to bring up second down. Well, partner, you and I will be headed to the airport, but after this game, when it's interview time, someone's going to ask this quarterback what hurt worse, the interceptions or the sacks. This whole day, it's been rough. Barney Miraculous come back. This offense isn't going to win this game, but he's probably going to say what hurt most is the loss. Now a throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw, Lawrence. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Try. And he will break. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be free wheeling now. We're going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just ran on to that big lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taking in at the three. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. And now out come the Jags. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Lawrence will try again after the pick six. They'll try and set up the screen to ETM. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. Now, hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. Always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. To throw again on second down, Lawrence. Got a man in stride. 
And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. And now a stoppage, and looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. And not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him, and we'll step aside for a moment. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and 10 now from the 27. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. But to throw again is Lawrence. Quick slant caught by Kirk. What? And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Fourth down, here's Lawrence. That is knocked away and incomplete, but a penalty flag. In the backfield, this might be a roughing call. Discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Again, he'll drop the throw. The Lawrence hit him, the ball is free. And I believe the Colts have recovered. Yes, they have. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline is still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. They'll run on first down the Moss. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Now a first carry for their fullback. A good move on the carry, but still brought down just inside the 40. And now a stoppage, and yeah, looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. Always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Looking to throw. Peyton. He gets it to Thomas. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Well, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some prime time games still on the docket. But it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game. And they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the forward. They certainly are. And I'm going to tell you something. If you're old school, you don't like this at all. But in today's football, you just go ahead and save it. Watch a team execute at a high level. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. To throw on third down, Peyton. And thank God that's complete. And the Colts are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind for watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And 
this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. He'll drop that underneath DTM. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Second time in this game, Charles. The ball is squirted out from his hands, and luckily his teammate was there to pounce on. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands? Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? On third down, Lawrence trying to lay one. Cook now on the punt as he gets this one away. There's Robinson showing the flash. A 46 yard punt, four yard return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. Now this offense comes back out onto the field. We paid this offense plenty of compliments already, but I mean, they are deserving as they start another series to be leading by this much with so much time left to play in the fourth. Charles, it's really, really been impressive to watch. It has been, and you have to think to yourself, the preparation that went into this, but the absolute focus that they kept throughout in order to have this kind of a result. This is Super Bowl-esque, and they've got to feel awfully good about what they put out there today. And now a carry here for the fullback, and he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. Just a yard on the run there. That's going to bring us to a fourth down. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Forty yards on the punt, two on the return, and it will be first and ten as they take over. Now comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get back for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Now left side, the completion is tight in. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. And a nice milestone reached on that last throw is here late in the season. He goes over 4,000 yards passes. And he's really throwing the ball well all season long. Had some big games along the way. He's inspired his receiving core to go out and make plays for him in each and every ball game. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Lawrence going to throw again. Quick hitter here. It's complete. 
And they're going to get this up to midfield. Seventh play in the drive now as they come up on a third and three. And able to find Kirk complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 33. He's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailed by multiple touchdowns and a late sack. Just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance and what by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for the Colts, it's a big win here as they move to 11 and 4 now in the year. And they'll get another home date next week as the Saints will come to town. Meanwhile, for Jacksonville, it's a tough blow to their playoff aspirations as they drop to 9 and 6.